Hi, um, this is my first video. Uh, my name is Riley. Uh, welcome to Lilith's Bazaar. Um, this will be a labor of love. I'm really excited to start this channel simply because I love watching these videos on YouTube myself. And I think that the pagan community is really open armed and welcoming and really exciting, and I want to be a little bit more a part of it. I am a solitary witch. I am a little bit in the broom closet uh, with some of my family members, but kind of open about it at the same time. It's half and half. Like, my items are sort of everywhere in my space. My family can kind of tell a little bit that I'm not religious, and I think that they're starting to get the hint, but I haven't outright said. So, I'm a little bit in the broom closet, but I'm not. Um, so, the online community has been really, really welcoming, and I've been really excited about it. Um, so, today, to start my first ever video on here, I am actually going to be doing an unboxing of Tamed Wild. I am really excited about this. Uh, this is my first time getting one of these subscription boxes, and I keep watching the videos on YouTube, and I just want to be part of this. <laughs> these boxes seem like so much fun. It's like Christmas once a month, and yeah, I'm really excited. So. I haven't opened the box yet. Came in a plastic wrapper, so if uh, you are in the broom closet, no one needs to know. Um, if you hear any crinkling in the background, and he's sleeping right now, but I've got the cat. So if yeah, you hear anything, that's him. And if I jump out of the screen, because he's woken up and done something. Uh, so yes. So let's begin with the unboxing. So this is the box. I love the design of the box. Um, I have not watched any videos online for this month's box, simply because I want to be surprised. So, here we go! There you go. It's tight. Uh, so yeah, so, uh, when you open it, it looks like this. Ooh, that's exciting. Okay, so, ooh, it's like a soft laminated almost, on the, only on the one side. Kind of interesting. Uh, I don't want to read into this because I don't want it in the box, um, but it gives you an information about everything that comes in the box. And then on the back it says, a ritual for putting your worries to bed. Ooh, okay, so that's exciting. So first things first, um, scissors. Excited. Oh, yes! Okay, so I have wanted one of these for so long. It, you can kind of see it here. It's um just kind of a jewel. You paint it in your window, and I think they're called sun catchers. Um, yeah, so then it makes like little reflections around your room. Oh my god, my cat's gonna love this. I need to put it up, up high so he maybe can't reach it. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited for this. That's awesome. Okay, excellent. Off to a great start. Okay, oh, this is nice. So what I love about these bags is you can actually use them as spell pouches, uh, reduce, reuse, recycle. More on that later. <laughs> um, so these are awesome. I really like these bags. They are great for that. And yes, it says Tamed Wild, but I kind of like that because I love, like, their art. It's just, oh, their font is so beautiful. Ooh. Okay. So it's a sun. I swear I'm going to have better video footage here soon. Don't worry. I'm waiting on supplies, but uh, I wanted to get this unboxing done because I just couldn't wait anymore. And also, it's the end of the month, and I just got this in the mail today. So, come on, Tamed Wild. Oh, I'm supposed to be July, and it's the end of July, and I'm looking at sad. I had to avoid so many videos. Okay, so, yeah, and it's, ooh, it's, ne it's a charm. So it comes, I'm definitely going to put this on a chain and make it a necklace. And yes, I'm only got a couple nails left. I'm getting those done, don't worry. I'm a nail biter. But yeah, that's really cute. I'm really excited. That'll be really nice. Okay. Uh, let's go with this one. Spirit Element. Sun Child. Celestial Body and Ritual Oil. It's got orange frankincense and solar gold mica. Ooh, that's really exciting. So I think mica is the stuff that makes it like really, like the sparkly stuff. I think that's edible, but this probably isn't edible. <laughs> Don't try. Um, let's see what it smells like. Oh, now that's good. <sighs> Definitely orange. And I frankincense, some people don't like the smell of it. I love the smell of frankincense. And patchouli, actually. I like the earthy. But this is really exciting. I love uh, 
ritual oils, like body oils, because that's kind of part of the ritual for me, is kind of getting my body prepared and, like, my mind prepared, and it just gives you that second to, like, I usually put it on my collarbones and just, like, behind my ears and just, like, zen myself before I close my circle and everything, so that's would definitely get used. Um, okay, so next, ooh, oh, it's looking a little, no. Okay, just ripped the tag off here, sorry guys. It's wet, that's kind of sad. Looks like maybe some of it spilled, oh no, is the box wet? Oh, a little bit, but not too bad, okay. But I'm really pumped about this, oh my god. Oh my god, I'm so excited. It's Florida water. So, uh, a lot, a lot of people use this because, I don't know why. It's like, kind of like, sometimes people like sage versus Palo Santo. Some people just prefer moon water versus Florida water, which they're not exactly the same. Neither is Palo Santo and sage, but different properties, but just kind of like whatever, whatever your practice does. But I have wanted Florida water for so long, and I am so excited. And it's like actually in Spanish, so... Agua de Florida. Don't know if that's how you say it, but I'm gonna go with that. Uh, let's see what it smells like. Because it's kind of got like a greenish color, so. I like it, but um, it kind of smells like mouthwash. It's a little weird. I wonder what the ingredients are. I'd be interested to know. Just as fragrances. So I will have to look that up, see what's it, but um, maybe it says on the card. Uh, okay, uh, Florida water, here it is, right at the bottom. Florida water is the perfect pre-ritual blend of citrus and floral aromas. Sprinkle the sacred perfume on your hands and clothes or use it to purify crystals, candles, and other altar items. Floral and citrus. I don't know how that adds up to mouthwash, but it smells great. <laughs> so we're gonna go with that. Oh, I'm so excited! That's awesome. Okay, and now it's this little satchel here. Again, nice use satchel, but I wonder what's in it. it. Doesn't really feel like a crystal, so this is what I think it is. I shouldn't have looked at what the ritual was this this month because I think I know what these are and I'm really excited. Um, if I'm right, they're worry dolls because looking at what's in here, I think I'm right. Okay, so I have been looking at worry dolls for a while. I think they're really cool. Um, so it's a big guy. It's a really big guy. Just these other ones. These other ones don't look that big. Oh yeah, no, they're not that big. So, the idea, I guess, behind these is that you're supposed to, like, whisper what your worries are, and then put them in a safe place, and your worries are supposed to go away. So, like, really good for anti-anxiety. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, and there's a piece of paper in here, so that'll probably tell me what they actually are. But yeah, these definitely look like worry dolls to me. Um, I saw them on a documentary, uh, National Geographic, and you can come in. Oop. So there's four, five little ones and one big one. I guess these are for your big worries. Um, so that's awesome. Now let's see what this little paper says. Yep. Guatemalan worry dolls. See? Oh, I thought they were Guatemalan though. That's kind of cool. So according to the legend, Guatemalan children tell one worry to each doll, and when they go to bed at night, they would place the dolls under their pillow. In the morning, these dolls have all their worries taken away. Or these dolls have taken all their worries away. See, that is cool. I like these. Um, as somebody who has anxiety, this will be nice. Uh, it'll be a good. It'll be a nice kind of going to bed. Good night. Like, I'd like to do like a nightly ritual of like just being thankful of what I have done that day. Kind of taking stock of everything, and this will be a nice way to just end the night. Um, so I'm gonna put these back in here so I don't lose any. Okay, that's cool. I'm really excited about this. This is a great box so far. Oh my goodness. And ooh, the last thing. Ooh, so it's the tea. I love tea um, because you can use tea as tea or you can just use the dry herbs. If you're running low on something, you can always just make them in your blend. You can do them in spells. You can do them 
Dry herbs are just magic. I have a ridiculous amount. I will give a tour eventually, <laughs> probably sooner than later, actually. I think I'll record them tonight. So if, my first couple of videos, I'm going on vacation. So my first couple of videos will definitely be me wearing the same thing. Um, I'm just going to record a couple. Bang, bang, bang. So I can have them out for you guys. Um, but yeah, so dried herbs. I love herbs. That's herb witch right here. This tea looks so yummy. Hibiscus mint. Uh, it contains hibiscus petals, peppermint, and stevia. So love is the flower you've got to let grow. John Lennon great. Um, commonly used to treat loss of appetite and as a flavoring in cooking, hibiscus petals can turn your tea, well, will turn your tea into a beautiful shade of red. Ooh, that, I mean, that's kind of cool. Uh, mint can aid in digestion and settle an uneasy stomach. Use in love spells to attract love and tranquility, uh, and you can place it under your pillow to enhance psychic development. Exciting. So for dream walking and stuff like that, that'd be really good. Um, I'm really excited to try this. So, yeah, that's kind of what we've got. Let me just make the box look all pretty again. Taking it out of there. And, yeah, I'm really excited. So we have the sun catcher, the tea. We've got the sun, which I'm put in there so it's safe. And then we have the worry dolls. We have the ritual oil, which smells really good, too. And the Florida water. So that all comes in this box. That's really exciting. Um, and then there's the card. And so yeah, the ritual for putting your worries to bed. It goes in the back. And the front of the card just tells you everything that's in it. Um, so the sun amulet. Sun amplifies our inner strength and manifestation abilities. It's a powerful talisman to carry when invoking a solar deity or drawing down the essence of the sun. I am really excited to use this. This is going to be really good. So that was a really good box actually. Um, we got the cat back here. He's up. He just wants some love. I'll also post a video about my adoption with him. I'm really excited. Uh, yeah, you'll, you'll hear that soon. Um, so thank you so much for being here for my first video. Uh, this was a great sort of entrance into the YouTube world. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to the online coven, I guess. Um, please, please subscribe. Obviously, I'm new to this. Uh, quality will hopefully get better. I'm working on a really great new logo instead of this temporary one I've got right now. Um, and there is more to come from this channel, which I'm really excited about, and I'll talk about in another video. Thank you so much.